Hello friends, what's up? This is Ron here and in this King of Fighters All-Star video, we are going to review the update of EX Volume 2. Of course, we are going to talk about the characters, the cars and also there is a bunch of changes around the game here and there, in the dungeons, in manywhere, towers. We are going to talk about them and we are going to form our own opinion about how this update is going on and how we should approach this update. Now as expected that EX Volume 2 is going to be strong, Angel is going to be strong, Netmarvel actually did that and we will be talking about those strong points of the character, also the battle cards because they are going to be very very effective. So buckle up my friends and let's go and take a good look into the details. And before we get into that my friends, as always I am requesting you to give this video a like, maybe subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already, maybe leave a comment in the video section after you watch this review because we all love King of Fires All Star and all of our opinions actually matter. So let's go and start from this section right here, this is the uh, Ramon's uh, Relay Roulette, this is uh, nothing really special, just you need to watch this ad every day for the extra uh, coins so you can uh, do this roulette thing and try to get this uh, this thing right here which is going to be useful and I'm going to show it a bit later. So uh, try to get this battery shaped things and of course you'll be able to get these uh, <coughs> options to summon from your uh, different missions. Now next we are having this angels gift event which is as you can see you can actually use these items in order to gift uh, Angel and you will be getting a bunch of rewards from here and let me just uh, and these are the rewards you will be getting from here as you can see there is a bunch of bunch of stops which is sweet but unfortunately there is not a single ruby present here we are having a battle card selector here and a platinum card uh, selector here also we are having a uh, fast memory selector here where, where you can actually have any in-game fast characters available so you can just click them so pretty much good uh, stops right here but unfortunately there is no rubies previously we had a similar event with Kula and we had rubies and I talked as I am talking about it in my previous videos that Netmarvel is actually narrowing the chances to get free rubies now let's go to the next and this is going to be the same event uh, almost the same that we had with exq where we can actually craft these imprint stones with these materials and these materials you guys can see we can get from the chapter of fight but these items we can get from different missions and different places and let's go and check it out uh, later where you can get it from and you will be uh, able to get those coins a bunch of those coins from actually this game mode right here as you can see here are 20 20 40 and 60 coins available in this uh, mode and besides if we go to the ex codex event once again if you awaken your angel to five star you'll be getting another 180 coins so basically uh, the uh, <clears throat> uh, I mean the equation will be the same if you want to have one imprint stone you'll be able to get it for free uh, but if you want to have two of them then definitely you need to make angel five star awaken level or you need to buy some packages these sort of things. So let's talk about these imprint stones first. The first imprint stone this is the attack one this is going to Increase poison damage dealt by EX fighter along with 20% attack. Especially good for poison dealing fighters and we all know that poison is a relevant dot for the inferno guild mode against Rugal. Now the tier 2 or the square stone. This is going to increase 20% attack plus EX fighters grab skill damage by probably 12% when fully leveled up. So especially useful for the fighters who are actually having grab skills. And the third stone, this is going to be increasing EX Fighter's active skill damage by 10%, probably, yes, 10%. So this is going to be a very, very good stone uh, because we had a very crappy 
um, a hexagon stones for EXQO, but this stone is going to be freaking good. And if you actually having this character at two, up to three star, you can actually use this stone with Kyo, which is going to be freaking amazing. Now let's talk about the star and moon imprint stones that we are going to get from here. And this is going to be the moon stone. And, and this is going to increase 10 and 10, 20% attack. And in the middle effect, this is going to increase Operation Kitty Fighters grab and strike skill damage by 10% or 12%, 12%. Now, what is this Operation Kitty Fighters, my friend? Of course, uh, of course, uh, our, uh, and hell is an Operation Kitty Fighters, but the surprising fact is Leona is also a Operation Kitty Fighter right now, and I'll show you just after checking this uh, star show step shown uh, star shaped stone. I'm sorry. Now this is uh, going to increase attack 20%. In the middle effect, this is going to increase Operation Kitty Fighters critical rate by 10% or 12% when fully leveled up. Amazing stuff, my friends. Pretty pretty dope stones. And let me just show you the surprising fact that both of these stones, both of those star and moon stones that I showed actually is going to work on BS Leona. Let me just go to her and we go to her uh, tags. And as you can see, she has a boss and female blah, blah, blah tag. But finally, they actually added this Operation Kitty tag. This is a, a tag is going to increase act, uh, fighters active skill damage by 7% solid. And for this tag, my friends, all those uh, star and moon imprint stones uh, that you saw in this event, that is this one and this one, both are going to be working on BS Leona. This is kind of cool, by the way. So next we go to this section right here. We have this angel in the ring and baby face. Baby face is the tower and angel is the ring is the rush event. Let's go and check the rush. What are they giving to us? And as usually, as you know guys how you guys play the rush these are the characters and the cards uh, that you can actually use to increase your farming in the rush and the sweetest thing about this is this set is also included in the uh, in, in the rush and this set we can actually get it uh, uh, I mean this one right here this set we can actually get for free in the rush shop and let me just show you that we are having this uh, moderate versus frustrated type set for this is the rush set you can get it for free by farming all those coins and also we are having pretty decent amount of items here because this is going to be helpful in the chapter of fight uh where uh, i mean uh, where you, you're just going to craft the star and moon imprint stone but let's talk about this card right here it's a pretty decent card with excellent uh artwork and as a set effect, this is going to increase Operation Kitty Fighters Poison, Burn, and Shock Damage by 75%. Wow! This set is going to be pretty lit for characters with Burn, Shock, and Poison Damage. And wh uh, whoever the character is, they have to be, of course, Operation Kitty Fighters. And for now, this set is only usable for Anhel and BS Leona both. And BS Leora also has burn, so this is freaking amazing. And also this set is going to increase attack by solid 22% for 7 seconds when Operation Kitty Fighters lands an active skill. Pretty dope set in my opinion, my friends. Pretty dope. So when you will start uh, farming in this rush dungeon, try to get this set first, then include this set to your character and that will give you increased amount of coin. Now let's go and check out this baby face, that is the tower. And most of you actually have already unlocked the tower because you have this both Leonas and you can actually get through this tower with those two characters. But as you can see, if we go through the tower once again, Netmarble did that stupid thing. There is not a single ruby, not a single ruby in this tower. Of course, you'll be able to get these coins, blah, 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 stops. But I don't know why they removed the rubies once again. Not a single ruby in, in the entire tower. I'm sorry to say and as you can see uh, the uh, they have changed the hall of elements uh, shop in a designed in a different way and now you can actually select any one of these uh, hall of elements uh, I type and play your dailies it doesn't really matter so this is a good thing because we uh, can actually select them and you can actually uh, play them uh, at your will 
and also they brought some changes in in you know, the dailies as you can see you will be able to experience these stuffs when you play the game that uh, there are certain uh, missions that are re removed already from the dailies certain missions they are actually added not really a big deal now my friends let's move to the big thing that is the banner itself first we are going to take a look at the cards and this is going to be the set card for this banner and as a set card this is going to individually increase 7% attack as always but at a set effect this is going to increase EX Fighter's active skill damage by 25% that means all EX Fighter is going to get the benefit from it Secondly, this is going to increase attack by 20% for 5 seconds when an extreme fighter lands an active skill and become immune to damage for 3 seconds when HP is 10% or less. Wow! This set is freaking OP my friends, freaking OP. We all saw previously that this uh, EX, uh, fighter's active skill damage by 20%, 25% is a freaking dope ass thing my friends. and increasing attack by 20% for 5 seconds that is a solid 20% increase of attack there is actually no chance and no cooldown on this damn thing so every time your UX fighter lands an active skill the attack will be increased by 20% without any problem and finally the become immune to damage for 3 seconds when HP is 10% or less previously we had a similar set in the game that is the famous Akane set and Akane set actually gave this uh, immunity when the HP is 2% or less. Now 2% HP was very very low but this set will give you that damage immunity for 3 seconds for uh, when the HP is 10% or less. That is freaking amazing my friends and notice the thing that uh, this thing has a cooldown of 35 seconds. So once this cooldown is over. If your character is still alive with the HP below 10%, she or he can actually get the damn immunity once again. Freaking OP set my friends, in my opinion, freaking OP set. Now of course we have these special cards, that is, uh, of course uh, they have uh, three types of special cards that is going to increase attack, active skill damage, critical damage, nothing to talk about it guys, you know it. And we have this option card, that is the uh, alone in the road. And this is going to increase attack by 5%, decrease skill cooldown by 1.2 seconds and increase poison damage dealt by 60% for 5 seconds uh, upon landing an active skill, Angel exclusive. So this da damn option card is probably going to be very useful for Angel. Now let's talk about the banner characters right here. And our favorite boss syndrome Leona is back with her change up skills. And if we check out the skills. Look at this my friends, look at this, look at this. As I told you, she's going to get the weekend. She got the weekend. She got the weekend core. That means she is now, uh, whenever her EX skill is activated, she will be able to do extra 30% increased damage received to the opponent and that will make her total increased damage received to the opponent 92%, 92% my friends, freaking, freaking dope. Also she got stout. But I, I believe that you don't have to worry about Stout because Weekend is definitely going to be the most important one right here. And of course you guys can uh, just uh, read through these things because previously we talked about the updates of Leora and of course just these updates are applied to Leora that's all. So freaking dope ass character and freaking dope support in the game right now. She's right now on the, uh, the, on the second highest uh, increased damage uh, received to the opponent dealer in the game only second to Yori Agami. So super super awesome. Now my friends let's talk about the, our special character right here EX Angel and she is uh, a different character who is going to get this leap skill. I don't know what type of uh, skill is did this but she is also getting another skill or another EX score that is body and soul. So these two things are totally unknown to me. I don't really have any idea about it. But we need to check out these things that how these things work. Let's talk about her skills and as you can see the chain effect. So she is actually having this chain effect with this uh, unchained step and critical sobat lariat combo. Wow weird names. 
so this is going to increase attack and uh, use increase attack by 40% for 5 se second 40% attack buff my friends freaking amazing right here 50% chance to reset cooldown for unchained blow okay 50% chance is a pretty low thing right here assault necker combo blah 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 used to petrify all enemies for 3 seconds so petrify is once again back in the game by the way and now this one right here is going to inflict uh, damage equal to 17% in used to increase attack by 45% so this uh, this one is going to increase attack by 40% and if you uh, use the chain skill this is going to increase attack by 45% uh, for 5 seconds Deal poison damage equal to 5.5 times of remaining poison damage and remove poison effect. Wow. Probably the top uh, or the highest uh, poison dot explosion damage dealing character in the game because 5.5 damage poison damage dealing is whooping high my friends. So 5.5 of dot explosion by Angel. This is going to increase her uh, damage output a lot. And I don't know if she can actually do this uh, repeated skill thing to uh, to the bosses whenever her, uh, uh, you know, uh, EX skills are activated. But that remains to be seen, my friends. She is already very high damage dealing character. Now, this skill right here infl inflict damage equal to 999% of attack. Super dope. Once again, applies Vellum to all enemies for 10 seconds upon use. Freaking useful character, my friends for poison dealing and going to be immensely helpful against the inferno mode Rugal. Deals points will damage equal to 80% of attack, power charge uh, uh, and uh, in decrease power charge rate, increase targets damage DC by 40% for four, 6 seconds upon landing a skill. Dope my friends, 40% increase damage DC to the opponent, this is so good. In the next skill, we are having inflict damage equal to blah 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 percent can be used in attack. Uh, hyper armor, super armor, PvP exclusive, seventy percent chance to remove target super armor. Blah blah blah. And now we have this uh, 3PG thing. Inflict damage equal to 3PG and deals a uh, poison enemy. As a striker, she is going to deal poison uh, to the enemies for ten seconds, which is going to be dope. Now let's go and take a good look at the skills. And <clears throat> just I wanted to show you previously that look at her skill types and if you guys remember that after seeing her trailer I told that she is actually going to have a bunch of strike skills look at this her first skill is a strike skill these are grab these are all grab but the first skill this is a very powerful skill which is also going to do the dot explosion this skill itself is a strike skill. So now let's go and check out the skill previews. Now let's uh, this see the first skill right here. Wow, what is that? <laughs> that is, uh, uh, I, I don't know what is that. But she just, uh, wow. See, she does nothing to the character, but just goes through her. But now let's, let's see the second one. Okay, this is a strike skill. And this is the dot explosion dealing skill. The, and the third one will be, wow, a poison dealing skill, the classic uh, skill of uh, uh, this unhell. Freaking grab once again. And this one, once again, a grab skill. And this is going to be the finisher, the first finisher. Oh. Now the finisher also involves a lot of grab that is uh, that is uh, my concern now uh, this is another finisher <clears throat> probably this is the in-game finisher that we are actually having in the game oh uh, she actually copies the moveset of <laughs> rock if you guys can remember the rock actually <laughs> did, did that did, did this finisher in a uh, wwe i mean not in the game but in the real life and Ascension Time is going to be her new finisher. Oh, she is cute as hell, by the way. She is cute as hell. Oh, <laughs> that is interesting. That is interesting. Now, actually, I forgot to talk about the leadership. This is going to increase EX Fighter's attack by 40%, critical damage by 60%. 
so a freaking useful leadership for all the ex fighters out there however all this ex fighter has to be native ex fighters and not ex fighters like uh, who are getting the change up kits they are not going to have that and uh, they're not going to enjoy the leadership let's take a good look in the core and she's having this 30 percent pg gain a critical rate of 18 percent critical rate of four percent oh my god so on the same core as SSKO, this is going to increase damage by 18% on a critical hit. So critical hit is once again going to be very very useful for this character. And she herself has having as a 4% increase of critical rate. Skill enhanced grab, continuous damage, enhancement of poison, attack buff, enchanting. This is going to reflect stun. And poison immunity, she is immune to poison. Uh, I don't know <clears throat> in what type of uh, places she is going to be useful for this poison immunity because there is no such a guild uh, that is immune to uh, that is giving us poison damage. But probably, my friend, this is an indication that maybe in future any of the future guilds we might actually have a boss who actually can uh, give us this poison damage. And who knows? There is a probability. And uh, this is going to activate finish rolling when attacking targets that cannot be grabbed. So you guys see, finish rolling is the new thing that we saw uh, in Blue Mary. Blue Mary actually has a lot of grab skill, but she cannot actually uh, grab a lot of bosses. So she actually had that stun fang thing. And with that, she can actually deal a huge amount of damage. So this damn thing is going to be super, super dope. And as I talked about it in my previous videos, that if you cannot grab your bosses, that's not a big problem. Now let's go further. For one second, inflict bleed damage equal to 5, 550% of attack every 0 for 1 seconds. Holy mother of God, guys, this character also has bleeding in the core. Bleeding in the core, my friends. Freaking amazing. That means you guys will see a lot of solo runs against that infernal uh, rugal and particularly infernal rugal is a dead ass if you just have this character with both her poison and bleeding freaking dope my friends also this is going to cast a shield that absorbs damage for seven seconds and uh, the shield will be removed when hit 30 times so a new generation shield as uh, we saw in exq but notice the fact this fact to the special fact that this shield has no limitation on the HP. That means the character's HP has no role here. Wow, what an amazing shield. And I wish they, sh they, they should give this shield to all the characters because this shield is going to activate it whenever your character starts playing in the game. It doesn't matter her, if her uh, you know HP is full. It doesn't matter if her HP is below 50% or 30% or 20%. This is freaking dope, my friends. This is the best shield I saw in the game. And the last core right here increased critical rate by 15% for 3 seconds upon landing an attack. Resets upon landing a critical hit. Look at this, guys. 15% increase of the critical rate for 3 seconds. And once again, this is going to uh, deal this critical rate for 3 seconds if the character is able to do a critical hit. I mean, that means this character is continuously going to hit and uh, do this critical hits again and again. Inflict damage symbols for 7 seconds upon landing critical hit on target. So I don't know what is this uh, inflict symbol, but this has a cooldown of 10 seconds, increased poison explosion by 200%. Holy mother of God! Oh my God! Attacking target with the simple and increased damage burn of shock, deal, shock dealt to the target with the symbol of 70%. Wow, so this character has a lot of things to do with shock as well. Now, I don't really know how the symbol works, but this is going to increase the dot explosion damage by 200%. Can you guys imagine that a 5.5 dot explosion if increased to 200, 200%? This is insanity, my friends. Freaking insanity. Wow, she is a... Uh, I actually thought that previously that she is going to be a freaking impressive character. Now she is going to prove herself as an impressive character 
amazing amazing core right here amazing shield right here wow and she's having both uh, bleed uh, bleed and uh, poison she's having bleed in the core so good my friends so i hope you guys enjoyed the review and i actually try to be as quick as possible but actually there's a lot of lot of information so i try to deliver them quickly so what do you think about these characters especially B, uh, bs leora's upgrades and anje and hell and hell she is an amazing character in my opinion including the set cards all are freaking freaking good so what do you think let me know in the comment section and hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends